Welcome to a journey through time as we delve into the life and art of Edward Hopper. Born in the year 1882, Hopper was a native of Nyack, New York. From a tender age, he was drawn towards art, a passion that was to shape the trajectory of his life. As a young man, he found himself in the midst of a shifting art scene. The late 19th and early 20th centuries were periods of transition in the world of art. The romantic idealism of the previous era was gradually giving way to a new artistic language marked by realism and impressionism. Artists were beginning to break free from traditional norms, seeking to capture the raw essence of life. This period of change, of artistic revolution, was the backdrop against which Edward Hopper began his journey. This era of change set the stage for the emergence of Edward Hopper, a man destined to leave his mark on the world of art. As Hopper matured, so did his artistic style. The early influences in his life played a significant role in shaping his perspective. French Impressionist Edgar Degas, with his vivid depictions of modern life, and American realist Thomas Eakins, known for his truthful treatment of the human figure, were among the many artists who left an indelible mark on Hopper's artistic journey. In his pursuit of artistic growth, Hopper traveled to Europe, immersing himself in the rich tapestry of European art and culture. The old world's charm and its diverse artistic landscape offered a fresh perspective to the young artist, influencing his artistic approach and broadening his horizons. Among his early works, pieces like Soir Bleu and New York Interior stand out. Soir Bleu showcases Hopper's experimentations with the themes of isolation and introspection, while New York Interior paints a poignant picture of domestic life, a theme that would recur in his later works. These pieces, while not as well known as his later works, were significant stepping stones in Hopper's artistic journey. They were the crucibles in which he honed his skills, experimented with themes, and developed his unique style. The emotions evoked by these works, the play of light and shadow, the sense of isolation, and the silent narratives were all elements that would become hallmarks of his later works. Hopper's early works were just a glimpse of the brilliance that was yet to come. Hopper's art truly began to flourish in the 1920s, with his unique style capturing the essence of modern American life. It was during this time that he created some of his most celebrated works, each piece a window into the heart and soul of the era. Take Nighthawks, for instance. This painting showcases Hopper's keen ability to encapsulate the quiet solitude found in the hustle and bustle of city life. The four figures, each lost in their own world despite their shared space, is a testament to Hopper's ability to convey the human condition. Then there's Automat, a painting that speaks volumes with its minimalistic approach. A lone woman sits in a cafe, her face hidden by the brim of her hat. The scene is ordinary, yet Hopper manages to infuse it with a sense of profound loneliness and introspection. And who could forget gas? An isolated gas station surrounded by the enveloping darkness of the night. A single attendant lost in his work. It's a snapshot of the American landscape, embodying the sense of isolation often associated with modernity. Hopper's works, with their focus on solitude and introspection, truly captured the spirit of the times. His ability to transform everyday scenes into profound commentaries on modern life was, and remains, unparalleled. These iconic works have cemented Hopper's place in the annals of art history. Edward Hopper's influence extends far beyond his lifetime. His art, steeped in the essence of American life, has left an indelible mark on the canvas of the art world. Today, we see his legacy alive and well in the works of many contemporary artists. Take, for instance, David Hockney. This renowned British artist often cites Hopper as a significant influence. Hockney's paintings echo Hopper's ability to capture the intimate moments of everyday life, bringing to the fore the vibrancy of seemingly mundane scenes. Similarly, Peter Doig, another contemporary artist of considerable acclaim, draws inspiration from Hopper's unique blend of realism and abstraction. Doig's art is a testament to Hopper's enduring influence, incorporating Hopper's signature style of isolating figures within the urban landscape. Through the works of these artists and many more, we see the ripple effect of Hopper's contribution to the world of art. Edward Hopper's legacy continues to live on, his art a timeless testament to his genius.